How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. You are watching Nature Here and Now. Except for right now, you're checking out this gorgeous Dalamedes tenebrosus, which is the dark fishing spider. And my friend Ian just spotted this, and I owe this whole video to him. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Ian, for finding this spider. I'm sure you noticed that I don't want to talk very loud because spiders, especially fishing spiders, have these hairs coming out of their legs and stuff that pick up vibration. That's how they, that's how they find their prey. And being a fishing spider, she will actually sit on the water's edge and feel vibrations and temperature from prey swimming beneath the water's surface as well as any insects and invertebrates that are walking along terrestrially. As soon as she feels something when she's in the mood for, for dinner, she actually pounced on it, and I used to have a pet one of these, and she would actually jump across the tank and grab crickets and somersault with them while she delivers that bite, that venomous bite to neutralize her prey. In my opinion, it was rather terrifying to witness. Um, but if you've noticed, there's this large mass beneath her, right? And you've probably guessed what it is. These spiders, like many of the Lycosidae, like the wolf spiders, will actually stick around with their eggs. They'll They'll attach a little tether to it and either drag the egg case behind them from their abdomen or pinch it up with their jaws or their chalicera and carry the egg case around them. In this case, she's doing a little bit of bulk. She'll sit on top of the egg case and then pinch it with her jaws, just the silk, so that she can drag it around and protect it from predators because I'm sure you can imagine this is filled with hundreds of baby spiderlings, tiny little baby fishing spiders. and to other predators and things, that's a very nutritious meal filled with tons of protein and fat. Anything out there hunting invertebrates would love to find an egg case filled with baby spiders because this is so nutritious. So she's going to protect that and uh, the spiders will hatch. In fact, they're hatching tonight. There will be a little tear in the egg case. Sometimes the mother will help by tearing it open with her fangs and then the babies will come out and she will provide motherly care, protection from other predators for a few days until the babies are, you know, dispersed and go on their own. But believe it or not, these baby spiders can actually fend for themselves as soon as they emerge from the egg. Um, they'll molt once or twice inside the egg case, then they come out, they might molt once after emerging from the eggs. Eventually, they'll reach a size similar to the mother. And like all spiders, the, the female is always bigger than the male. And these are not dangerous spiders. However, they, they can sometimes deliver a, a painful bite and some people do develop complications from the venom. It'll burn and hurt for a couple of days, but that's about the worst. This is not medically significant. It's not a fatal bite. It won't land you in the hospital unless you experience anaphylaxis, which of course is an allergic reaction. If you're afraid of spiders, I imagine this is like you know, the, the grand prize of spider fear. Now, I used to be terrified of spiders, and these, these very spiders, these and grass spiders, to me, were the scariest looking of all spiders. Um, but I do know that the spider is not going to bite me unless I threaten her or apply pressure to her. She doesn't really want to waste that precious venom because she's going to use that to secure food. But, of course, now her main goal in life is to protect those babies. She's going to perish just a few days from now. She's successfully achieved her goal in life and that is to reproduce and to provide safety until the eggs hatch which have just happened so i really hope you guys enjoyed this what an impressive find ian thank you so much for this this is incredible and uh, this is the biggest egg case i've ever seen on a spider except for the argiope eggs which are actually bigger um but uh if you like this video, hit like, uh, please subscribe. That'll let you know when new video of mine come out. And I have plenty of videos like this and most other species of wildlife found in Pennsylvania and New Jersey and sometimes other parts of the country too. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, and I'll see you in the next video. Was that okay? Yeah. You think that was okay? Mm hmm.